Welcome to WVD demo of the day. Have you ever wished that after making a change to one of your desktop images that you could go back in time and reverse the change and go back to the way things were before uh, you made those changes? Well, I'm happy to tell you that as of the version uh, 2.3 of the Nerdio Manager for WVD, you can now do that. The new functionality is called Desktop Image Versioning and it allows you to back up and restore desktop images from a prior version before changes were made using the Azure backup uh, functionality. So let's start by taking a look at the desktop images screen. What you'll notice is that each image now has a backup and restore option listed uh, next to the drop down menu from the actions menu right here. A couple of words on prerequisites. So as I've mentioned, this uses the Azure backup functionality. So this is all native to Azure, no, uh, no third party utilities are required. And once you go ahead and you try to back up a desktop VM for the very first time, it's going to create all the necessary Azure backup infrastructure to take this backup and maintain it for you. Now, one requirement is that the Nerdio Manager application must be assigned the backup reader role at the subscription level, which will happen automatically if the user that is configuring the backup for the very first time is an owner on a particular subscription, which is where those uh, desktop image VMs are residing. Uh, if the user is not an owner, then this is something that's going to have to be done manually in Azure. Again, the backup reader role must be assigned to the Nerdio Manager application, uh, and you will get a warning message that will uh, prevent you from proceeding if you do not have owner permissions, asking you to make that assignment manually. Assuming you are the owner and you go ahead and you click on backup, this is going to ask you for the retention of a particular desktop image, and you can specify this in terms of weeks. Uh, you know, normally this could be something like uh, four weeks or, or a full year, 52 weeks. Uh, you can retain this image, and then once uh, this amount of time expires, the image backup will be deleted automatically, uh, but that obviously will not affect the desktop image itself. So let's go ahead and find one of these images. Let's take our executive image that already has a backup as of a couple of days ago. We're gonna go ahead and click backup, select one week for the retention and click okay. And you will notice that this image is now being backed up. The other thing that you can do in terms of backing up an image is when you power on one of the VMs, for example, if I'm gonna go ahead and power on my marketing image, I will be able to check a box that says back up this VM before powering it on. Now, the reason you will be powering this VM on is likely to make changes. So this is the best time to actually take a backup of that VM so that so if any of the changes that will be applied, uh, want to be you need to reverse them, you'll be able to go ahead and restore from a previous version of the backup. So let's go ahead and select backup. And again, let's select one week here and click OK. And this is going to make a backup of the VM and then power it on so you can start making changes. Once the backup is created, you will see the last recovery point listed here. And you can actually go in and select Restore from the drop down. When you select Restore, uh, you will be able to select from any of the previously uh, selected versions, or pre the available uh, versions right here. Once you select the previous version and click restore, this is going to recover that VM from the Azure backup vault and leave it in powered on state so that you can click the button that says power off and set as image so that that VM can then be committed to the Azure image object uh, from the restored version of that VM. So there you have it. Image versioning made very simple backing it up manually, restoring it manually, or backing up and creating a version of the VM right during the time when you need to make changes when you're powering on that VM. Hope you found this useful and I will see you in the next video.